Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to sit down and finally film a video on how we picked Ingrid's name. I am currently pregnant in my third trimester with our fourth baby. This is my second girl and we decided on the name Ingrid for her. And so I had a lot of questions on how we picked her name and I wanted to kind of just dedicate a video and share with you guys how we came about it. So the name Ingrid has not always been on my radar, but as soon as I heard it and I was contemplating having another baby, it was definitely like a top contender as far as having a girl went. I miscarried in my last pregnancy and it was a name that I had thought about in the months prior to conceiving that baby. And I shared in like a trying to conceive update video that we had not gotten pregnant in months and we weren't trying, but we weren't not trying. And so in those months, I kind of thought about baby names and you know, um, my heart was, was thinking about having another baby and desiring that and I liked the name Ingrid. And what was funny is I kept seeing it places. Like I just kept noticing it. Uh, <laughs> Hi Ingrid, I have an Ingrid that comments on my videos and my Instagram and um, her comments would come up and I would see her name and I'd be like, Ingrid, oh my gosh, there it is. And it was funny because it's not a super common name, but I would see it in like credits of a video, a movie. I just would see it everywhere. And so we got pregnant and I ended up miscarrying that baby. and. I just was feeling kind of defeated. I was just feeling like, you know, we weren't getting pregnant and now I got pregnant and um, I lost this baby and I would still see the name Ingrid. During this time, my daughter was praying for a sister and my daughter is five now, she was four at the time, but she was. Just her heart was set on having a sister and she told me all the time that I was gonna get pregnant and I was gonna have a daughter. I didn't tell her about the miscarriage. My kids are really little so we just chose not to um, not to share with them that, that journey at that point in our lives. Um, so she didn't know that I had miscarried but she talked about having a sister all the time. And so while she's praying for a sister, um, I'm noticing the name Ingrid still and grieving over the loss of the baby that we just lost. And there was one night where I was, um, I don't know, I was just doodling, doodling on my phone or whatever, and I saw the name Ingrid again. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm like, what does that name even mean? What does that name even mean? And so I looked it up, and I'm probably gonna butcher it, and so let's just pull it off my phone, and I will read to you guys what the name Ingrid means. So it is, a Scandinavian name. It refers to Ing, <laughs> the Norse god of fertility, peace, and prosperity. And so it's this god, right? And I'm like, all right, it's a god. Like, I don't even, <laughs> I believe in one god. I'm a firm believer that God, my, the god, my god, uses all things to speak to his kids, to, um, to, bring meaning and truth and um, there's nothing that God can't use and, and bring glory from. And so I'm like, all right, well, the God of fertility, the God of fertility and peace. It really struck a chord with me because I had been having so much anxiety and, and just feeling, feeling a little defeated and not having too much peace about losing that baby. And I was wondering about my fertility, you know, wondering about why we hadn't gotten pregnant and then we did get pregnant, why did I lose the baby? And I really felt like God placed that name on my heart and in those words, fertility and peace, and not that he was speaking to me through some, some Scandinavian Norse God, not that at all, but that I would look up that name and I would look up the meaning for it and that the root of it came from something that signified fertility and peace and I just thought that that was like, I just had this peace, overwhelming peace that came over me. And so when we got pregnant and we realized that this baby was probably going to stay with us and we were going to be blessed to be able to um, give birth to it. I kind of convinced myself we were going to have a boy and I'm like, oh, it's going to be a boy. And I just kind of like pushed Ingrid out. I just kind of was like, I didn't want to put my heart on it because I felt like if I really accepted that God had given me that name and it didn't come through or if I was going to have a boy, like I just, 
You ever do that sometimes? You're protecting yourself. And so I kind of just protected myself. <laughs> and Fiona told me over and over again, Mom, it's a girl. I'm having a sister. And so when we went to the ultrasound <laughs> and we found out that she was in fact a girl, um, without a shadow of a doubt, my husband and I, we were like, her name is Ingrid. We know her name is Ingrid and that God had put her on our heart. Her middle name is Kathleen after my grandma, Kathy Lynn, who is a pivotal woman uh, in my life. Um, a second mom, she means, I can't, I can't put into words how much my grandma means to me. And so she has my grandma's first and middle name for her middle name, Kathleen. So her name is Ingrid Kathleen Kite, and we are so excited to meet her. So yeah, that's how we came about with her name. If you guys have any cool stories of naming your kids, comment down below and share them with me. With my other kids, I didn't really have like pivotal um, moments of revelation with their name, but with Ingrid, I did, and so God gave me that, and that's really, really cool. I'm excited and I'm thankful for that. So yeah, comment down below and share with me if you guys have any cool, cool stories. Love you guys and I will see you later. Bye.